Welcome back to the lab trainers to another episode of the Pokemon Black Nuzlocke. My name is Professor Sacrum and last time we left off we did a little bit of stuff at uh, Challenge Rock in that route and had to encounter that nurse and along with several other trainers that were very 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 scary. Um, now last episode I actually do want to apologize now in case you didn't see it in the annotations um, that of the screen thingy whatever uh, the little blip thing that happened towards the middle after we got Josh. Um, because, um, I moved the capture window on my computer and that changed the way it looked on the capture. Um, so <laughs> there is that. Uh, but now I know, so that won't be an issue, hopefully, from now on. Um, and now also, uh, what did I want to say? Uh, oh, if you check up above, if you haven't seen already, um, before, if you have, haven't seen for some reason the rest of the LP beforehand, the link above me will lead you to a playlist that will watch all of them from start to finish. Uh, right now we're on episode 8, so you don't have a lot to go by. Uh, it takes a couple hours probably because they're each about a half hour long. Um, and this time what are we doing now? Oh, yes. Um, I had a little bit of issues too with this episode. Um, I recorded this trying now like three times and a couple times now it's froze on me. Um, well, first time it froze on me, second time... The capture got funky again because I didn't realize what the problem was. Uh, now I know what the problem is, so there's that. And uh, we had to redo most of the last episode plus this one. Um, so if we take a look at our team, we do have Bitter, Mythic, Atomic, Ivy, and Josh. Uh, Bitter at 18, Mythic, and everybody else at 17. Um, that's because I did some off-screen grinding, which I didn't get to show off in the beginning of this episode, so I'm sorry if you guys wanted to watch that, but nothing super significant happened except for a couple moves, and that's really it. Um, but going over a little team recap, we have the quiet-natured Bitter, uh, who is our Peg Knight, uh, also level 18, who is a fire and fighting type Pokemon now, which is really, really nice. And he has the Blaze ability, of course, with the moves Tackle, Tail Whip, Arm Thrust, and Flame Charge. Uh, next up, we have the Brave Natured Mythic, our Petrat, as a normal type. Um, and it has the ability Runaway, which has come in very, very handy lately with these grinding sessions. Um, getting away from wild fighting types I don't want to fight. Um, with, uh, with the moves Crunch, Leer, Workup, and Cut. Uh, next up is Atomic. Our, she is our hardy natured uh, rock and roller, rock and roller, rock and roller, um, with the ability sturdy and the moves rock blast, harden, mud slap, and headbutt. Um, next up we have Ivyu, the P Dove, who is our hardy natured uh, normal flying type bird, um, with who's almost ready to level up. Woo! Um, I could do that really quick too before I start this. Um, Anyways, uh, has the big pex ability, um, and he moves Gust, Air Cutter, Leer, and Quick Attack, and then finally, our newest member of the team that we caught last time, which actually had to change in nature just because of accidental stuff, but I did try to keep it the same, um, I have a male one at least, um, this is our hasty natured, uh, uh, Tim Pole, named Josh, um, IVs are a little bit different, we found it at a little bit of a different level, uh, has the ability Hydration this time, um, and the moves Growl, Supersonic, Mudshot, and Bubble Beam. Uh, Mudshot is pretty nice to have on this. I got rid of round for Mudshot, so that's there, I guess. Um, and there's not really much else other than that. It used to have the Swift Swim ability, and it used to have a different nature. I forget exactly what it was. It might have been Naive. I think it was Naive. Yeah, I remember it being Naive. Um... So there is that, and I apologize in advance, but we are about like five minutes into this video, and we haven't really done anything too, too significant uh, just now, but we are going to take on the gym. But before we do that, um, I also want to mention that I did pick up uh, the item, the charcoal item, I believe so anyway, from this house right over here. Um, you talk to this girl over here, and um, when you do pick up the item it'll she'll ask you which starter you start out with and um i said tip tepeg obviously because i have tepeg and i got the charcoal item early so that's always really nice to have um so let's go and get some stuff here because i could use some super potions really quick uh, i'm gonna buy three uh just so i get at a nice solid 10 and awakenings could be nice I'm gonna buy four. Potentially, potentially could be nice. I don't really know. 
Um, just because I know that the gym leader's Pokemon uh, does have hypnosis. Uh, one of them has hypnosis. So I really want to try and avoid falling asleep if at all possible. Uh, so there is that little doodad. Um, so now, actually, I want to lead off with Josh. Because I want to show off Josh a little bit. Because Josh can put in some really good work in this battle, I believe. I want to see things no one can see. The ideals of Pokemon inside Pokeballs. The truths of how trainers should be. And a future where Pokemon have become perfect. Do you feel the same? Yes, I do. I done diddly do. Is that so? I think my friends and I should test you to see if you can see this future too. Well, I guess it's on then, Mr. N. Come on. Come at me in this dawn uh, or evening. It's an evening thing. Yeah. Uh, evening with your P-Dove. Well, that's fine and dandy because I have myself Josh. Josh Koala Man, one Koala Man. And we're going to go for that bubble beam though. Oh, gosh. Okay, that didn't do a lot. That didn't do a lot. We're, we're, we're pretty good right now. We're pretty good right now. Ooh! 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 Joshy! Joshy boy! Doing so good! Doing that 2 hit KO. That was a speed? No, that was outsped. That was clearly outsped because he used quick attack before. Could have been potential speed die. Now, we're going to bring keep in this temple right here. We're going to keep a temple on temple battle right now. Go for the mud shot. Go! Do it! Do it! Do it! Take it out! Take it out! Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, lowering your speed even further. That's super sonic. I don't know if I like that. I don't know if I like that. I don't know if I like it. Um, let's go into Ivy. Because I think Ivy can take out. So this is weird. It's like the opposite matchup. He sent out his P dub against my temple. And now I'm sending out my P dub against his temple. And let's see if we do any better. Okay, that's a bit better. That's a bit better. Um, let's go for the air cutter. Because that is our strongest move right now. Pretty good. Pretty good. Um, oh my gosh. Um, I don't know if quick attack will do it. Um, let's check. Moves. Gus has 40. Quick attack also has 40. But you have 55 with a 95 accuracy and you land critical hits more easily. What is your speed? 25, 21, 31. Wow, Temple is fast. Uh, do I go for a Super Potion right now? Yes, I do. I go for a Super Potion right now. Uh, so that I use at full health, and then we're gonna go for the quick attack right after that. I probably could have went quick attack, but I didn't really want to risk it. Um... Sweet, sweet. Um, now we leveled up a little bit, so nice, right? Level 18, very, very good. I view wants to learn roost. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna learn roost. I'm gonna get rid of Gus for roost, obviously. Uh, that is probably my best play right here. Timber, 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 timber. I'm gonna go for Roost. Lose the flying typing, so if he does go for Rock Throw, it's not super effective. We're at full. Low kick. Okay, that didn't do a lot. That didn't do a lot. Um, let's go for the air cutter. Okay, so now I have to either miss this. All right, now I have to try and knock it out in the next... Oh, I can do that. Go for the quick attack and knock it out. Booyah. Ivy, coming through, doing its thing. Gonna be king of the pirates? I don't know. All right, you can't see the future yet, but the future is yet to be determined. Right now, my friends aren't strong enough to save all Pokemon. Maybe I can't solve the equation that will change the world, so I need power. Power enough to make anyone agree with me. Now I know what I need, what power I need. Zekrom, the legendary Pokemon that along with the hero created the Unova region. It's my turn to become that hero, and you and I will be friends. Well, that's a little bit frightening. Alright, so now I have two more Pokemon at level 18, which is really, really nice. 
Um, I'm gonna go, actually, I wanna go, ju uh, Atomic. I wanna try and get Atomic to 18, because if I can get Atomic to 18, I think I have a pretty good chance at, uh, facing the gym leader. Um, now, the only reason why I stayed at 18 is because I wanna stay kind of within the boundaries of the gym leader's Pokemon. So, the lowest is level 18, and the highest is level 21, so there's that. Well, whenever I look at this skeleton, I'm fascinated. <laughs> Welcome, I'm Haas, the assistant director. Since you were kind enough to visit, I'll give you a tour of the museum. This skeleton is of a dragon-type Pokemon. There's a theory that it had an accident where it was flying around the world, and so it became a fossil while it was flying around the world. I'm sorry, I, I mispronounced it entirely. This rock is amazing! It's a meteorite! It contains some kind of energy from space. Oh, this? It's an ordinary old stone. It was found near the desert, but other than the fact that it's old, it doesn't seem to have any value. We dis only display it because it's rather pretty to look at. The Pokemon Gym is just beyond here. At the end of the gym, a very strong and kind gym leader is waiting. By the way, the gym leader, Lenora, happens to be my wife! Well, good on you, man. I hope she's kind and doesn't kill any of our Pokémon. Um, let's see, let's see. Uh, cause this gym leader is very powerful and very scary. Um, so I think we're just gonna go and free ball it right now. We're gonna go. That's not the term I wanted to use. <clears throat> A Pokemon gym where a Pokemon gym where a leader waits for a challenger at the back of a museum. It has great atmosphere, doesn't it? So, I will give this to you. And we got ourselves a fresh water. Booyah, baby! All trainers in this gym use normal type Pokemon. This is just between you and me. Normal type Pokemon are weak against fighting type Pokemon. Around here, fighting type Pokemon show up around Pinwheel Forest. Now explain the gym. I'll explain about the gym itself. In this Pokemon gym, if you answer questions hidden in books, you can move forward. For your information, the first book is Nice to Meet You Pokemon. If you don't know where the book is, please ask anyone. Well, um, I don't know where this book is because I've never been here before. Um, so let's ask this lovely gentleman over here if he'll show me. Hey, oh no. I hang around Nat Green Gym all the time. People call me a bookworm. I'll warn you now, I'm strong because I spend the entire day either reading books or training Pokemon. Yeah, we're gonna fight now. In the library? We need to stay quiet, don't we? This is a, oh no, it's a, it's a museum light. I don't even know. It's a library, yes. Okay. Sending out Patrat. 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 I always say Patrat, but I think it's just pronounced Patrat. All right, so let's go. Atomic coming through. Uh, we're gonna go for that nice rock blast. Oh no! Please get five, three, four. Knocked it out. Good. Woo! Woo! That was. It was definitely close. That was definitely close. But luckily we had full HP, so we wouldn't have been knocked out. But maintaining that sturdy throughout is gonna be really nice. So let's go. Uh, left or right? Uh, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a tiger by the toe. If he hollers, let him go. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. And you are not it. Oh well. <laughs> We're gonna go to the left. I know this one's the right one anyway. <laughs> This is the, the bookshelf for children's books. Nice to meet you, Pokemon. Do you want to read this book? Surely I would like to. It's a fairy tale about a little boy who met a Pokemon for the first time in his life. He is with a small brown Pokemon. I wonder what kind of Pokemon that is. There's a memo between the pages. <clears throat> this is Lenora speaking. Pokemon trainers, I'm the gym leader Lenora. I hid four memos in this library. Each of them has a question. Can you solve the questions and come find me? Now this is the first question. What is the first Pokemon you met in this gym? The hint is, on a bookshelf in the middle row. Now try to find it. Alright, so let's go try and find this, uh, 
thing because I don't want I don't want to bother her. She might battle me right now, so we're gonna go to this bookshelf. The biology of Patra, useful for future 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 pokeology. Yes. The biology of Patra. Would you like to read this book? Yes. It describes the biology of Patrat. They communicate, they communicate with each other by movement of their tails. A Patrat raises its tail when it sees an enemy. There is a memo on the back cover. As I thought, this, that question was easy. Well, this is the second question. Flame burns, inside, flame burns inside its body and it gives off smoke from its head while it runs. What is this book? The hint is, somebody may be reading it. Um... I, again, I don't want to mess with you. Um, someone else may be reading it. Um, let's go here. Hmm, I see. Oh, did you find the memo and come here to look for this book? What does the memo say? Flame burns inside its body and it gives off smoke from its head while it runs. I'm reading a book called The Structure of a Locomotive. Is this the book? Is this the correct answer? Sure. I think so, a locomotive that's trained, so the head of the train, I guess, would, yeah. Oh, that is correct! Flame burns inside its body and it gives off smoke from its head while it runs. That's exactly how a locomotive looks. Well, I'll let you read this book. But before that, I would, it would be great for my research if we had a battle! Oh, no! Satomi! Let's do battle, girl! And she's got a hurt her. Um, let's go for the rock blast and hope for the best. Oh boy. Land me five and you're good. It's the exact opposite of what I wanted, but... Okay, let's go again. This tackle attack is gonna hurt not at all. One, two, three, four, yeah! Oh, two crits! Oh, I'm sorry for bumping the mic. Was not expecting that. Nice! Level 18 is atomic. Oh my gosh, we're almost at 19 too. That's pretty good. Uh, but I want to kind of save that. Return a book to its shelf after reading. This is the rule of when you read a book. Okay, sure, um, but before we do this, uh, let's switch. Oh, no, I want Mythic. You know, gotta keep everybody around the same level, you know. That's how I like to play it. This is the bookshelf for general studies. The structure of a locomotive. Do you want to read this book? Sure. This is a book about a locomotive. Flame burns inside its body and it gives off smoke from its head while it runs by using steam power. There's a memo on the back cover. It's impressive you found this place. That's what I'd expect from a challenger like you. Well, this is the third question. If you heat it up in a pot, it'll be delicious. What is this? The hint is on a bookshelf closer to the entrance than here. Okay, so then if it's closer to the entrance, I don't want to say it to you because you're reading it. She said that no, she didn't say anyone's reading it, and this is the only book by the entrance that we haven't read. This is the book of children's books, uh, Sweets for Pokemon. Do you want to read this book? It describes delicious sweets made by heating berries in a pot. There are sweets called Poffins made from berries in the faraway Sinnoh region, and Pokemon love them. There's a memo on this cover. Did you manage to get here without being tricked by the questions? Now this is the last question. From this bookshelf, move two backward, move one to the left, move two forward, and move one to the right, and move one backward. Now where is it? The hint is, find it by yourself. Alright, so we gotta go two backward, one left, two forward, one to the right, and one backward. So you sent us in a circle to this girl. Thanks, Lenora. You're a really kind and sweet and gentle gym leader. I'm wondering, did you see the last memo and come to me? Okay, I'll give you the last question. Can you challenge the gym leader if you win against me? Uh, yes? Teehee, <laughs> that is correct. Well, here we go, trainer! You have a Pokemon named Trainer? People are very strange in the Pokemon world, I'll tell you that from first-hand experience, boys and girls. Oh, we got ourselves a little pup. Come on, Mythic. Destroy him.
How many do you have? You have three. Let's go for a nice workup. I want to try and bulk myself out just a little bit before going into this. Uh, so go for the tackle. How much does this actually do? That was a critical hit. I'm not messing with that. Uh, um, I don't want to mess with that critical hit, so I'm going for that super potion right now. Bite. Okay, good. Please don't crit me again. I will be very sad. Crossing my fingers. Okay, and now I'm gonna heal up again because I don't trust you. There is no trust in this lily pup because he wants to destroy my life, and I don't like that at all. Let's go for cut. It's stab. Ooh, so close. So close, so close. Um, let's go for another cut. Sweet. Do I level up with this? No, I don't. I don't even get close to leveling up. Because I don't trust you. I'm going for the other super potion. Yes, I know I'm using up all my potions, but I'm freaked out. Let's go for work up. So I get a guaranteed almost one hit KO as long as it's not defensive. Or has a defensive boosting nature. Alright, now I go for another super potion. How many have I used? I've used five. I've used five now with this. But luckily I have five more. Plus, I have the, uh, the fresh water still. Cut. Cool, and I believe this should Oko it. Perfect. Get 219, and Petrat Mythic should level up at this battle. And let's go for another cut, because we do have speed. Ooh, and that nice and clean Oko. Very nicely done, Mythic. You are as savage as normal. Hypnosis. Do I want to know Hypnosis? I have work up, so I think I'm gonna get rid of Leer. I don't think Leer can actually help me too too much in this. So, I think Hypnosis works in our favor a lot better. Oh wow, I lost, but thanks for a great battle! Alright. Now, we've gotta face the gym leader. Now read the last book. Okay, so now I gotta read the last book. This is a bo the bookshelf for Pokemon. The biology of Pet of Tepig. Cool, not Petig. This will be nice to know too. And describes the biology of Tepig. Flame burns inside its body and gives off flame from its nostrils. When it's not well, it can give off only smoke. So when Tepig is sick, it poofs out smoke from its nose. There's a memo between the pages. You've managed to get here. Well done. You seem to be to have wisdom as well as strength. I look forward to our battle. Gym leader Lenora. Click. There's a switch under the book. And the bookcase is moving! Yeah! I'm down with it! Yeah! But now we must be on to a hidden staircase. Wow. To the Pokemon Center. Go to the Pokemon Center and we shall heal! Let us journey forth! And see what ventures lie ahead. So we got five minutes about. Uh, I'm probably going to go a little bit over. But I'm actually okay with it. Um, as long as we get that gym badge and we lose nobody. We'll be in the cut. We'll be in the clear. Nurse Joy, I swear. If you tell me to come back again, I may not. I'm joking, obviously. But I may not. We'll see. I don't like the tone, Nurse Joy. Nurse Joy, I don't like your tone of telling me to come back to the Pokemon Center when I know I probably shouldn't be because you know that's very mean to wish harm upon these beautiful, beautiful creatures. Let's go. Now, now, we shall fight against Lenora, the gym leader. Ah! <laughs> I'm going to lead off with Bitter. 
for very good, very good reasons. Um, that arm thrust can come through. Do I have anything actually to strengthen up? I have X speed, which could be nice. Welcome! The director of the Nacreen Museum and the Nacreen Gym's leader is me, Lenora. Well then, Challenger, I'm going to research how you battle with the Pokémon you've so lovingly raised. I've lovingly raised them, alright. Now, if you kill them- Look at that look! Look at that look! You see that? She's like, I'm about to get rid of one of them. They about to die. I don't like this. Lenora, you're a very evil woman. I sense it in your blood. Let's go. <laughs> Stylus in hand. Listen, I keep forgetting about intimidate on her to being a thing. Like, that is a thing. Ah. Oh, we avoided. Go bitter. Go bitter. Come on, let's get this five. This five. Okay, that's two. That's still really good. Now, with that move, I'm starting to see what kind of trainer you are. Let's get five right now. Takedown, you're going to be doing a lot to yourself. With that recoil, let's get at least three. Come on. One. Two. Three. That's the knockout right there, baby. Go, Bitter. Go. Oh, and you level up to 19. Mmm. Mmm, baby. Now, I'm afraid of retaliate. No matter how grim the situation, I'll use my research and skill, warning and whatever to, like, do something or whatever. We're switching to Atomic right now because of Sturdy and resistance to normal type. Retaliate will not do nearly as much as long as she actually goes for Retaliate. There we go. Retaliate. There we go. Perfect. You go. You go. Harden. Crunch. Don't you dare lower my defense. Harden. It's up to you, Atomic! It's up to you, baby! We're gonna go for the Super Potion. I probably should have gotten more. But my goal is to harden up as much as I can, hopefully not get crit, and I have to take a harden. Okay, so I can do another harden. Leers! Leers! The dastardly being used Leer! Let's go, Atomic. Get yourself back up to plus one. Go for another one. Go for the crunch. Do it. Make my day. Go for another heart. We're at plus two now. Yeah. Yeah, cause yes, yes, yes. Let's go for another heart. Now, because critical hits will make me faint from here, I don't want to risk that. So I'm actually going to uh, super potion up, get my sturdy up again in case I get crit. Uh, because a crit will bring me down to the yellow from here. Ooh, that hypnosis, though. Is it time to retaliate? It's time to attack. Let's go for this rock blast right now. Get that five. One. Two. Man, atomic. Go for it. This crunch ain't doing nothing to us. Look at that. Look at that. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Now, I'm expecting this super potion to come up. So what I'm going to do is get a free harden off. Yeah, here we go. The super potion came through. That's completely fine by me because I get another harden. Playing strategically right now. Trying to make sure that everybody is alive by the end of this. I'm gonna go for yet another Harden. The Hypnosis lands, I have Awakenings. But I'm gonna risk the first turn wake up on Harden. The Leer, okay. Okay, Atomic is fast asleep, so this means that I have to use an Awakening right now. All right, let's go Awakening, there we go. I'm gonna go for another Harden. Let's 
go for the super potion. No, not an awakening. No, 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 no. Super potion. I probably should have given my Pokemon berries. That would have been nice. I have those orange berries at least saved up. So we'll do we'll deal with that. Alright, so let's go for another rock blast. Let's go for rock blast. The hypnosis. Avoided the attack. Go for it. Nice and five. Nice and five. And get like three crits. Three. That was a crit. Can I get another crit? No, but I get five at least. That's amazing. I'm gonna go for headbutt. This crunch cannot take me out. Yes! Go Atomic! Go Atomic! Look at that! That is some pro battling right there. Look at that. Level 19 Atomic. Let's go. Let's go. You're more than just talented. You're motivated and skilled. Whatever. I'm a good trainer. That's what I say. Yeah! Your fighting style is so enchanting. It is charming. You are your, you are a Pokemon trainer worthy of receiving the basic badge. Yo. Respect. 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 Get on my level, Lenora. I shouldn't say that, though, because she could have very easily taken me out if she created more. But I think I played very well for that. If you have two badges traded, Pokemon up to level 30 will obey you. Here, I also want you to have this TM. And we got TM67 Retaliate. Retaliate. Retaliate does more than uh, a lot more damage if an ally fainted the turn before you used it. If you master the timing, you can defeat even strong opponents. Deer! Deer, come quickly! Team Plasma is threatening to steal some bones! What? What's going on? Ron, you come too. Um, okay then. Um, I mean, do you want me to take... Do you want me to go, or do you want me to, like, be gym leader for a little bit? Anyway, guys, that's all the time we got today. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked it, please be sure to hit that like button down below and subscribe to the channel for more content like this on the daily. That's right. You saw one yesterday. You're seeing two today, and you're going to be seeing one tomorrow and one on Thursday, hopefully two on Friday, which I'm trying to do my best for two on Friday, and then I have two on Saturday as well. So again, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time on Visit the Lab. Bye!